we're going to look at refraction by a glass prism. <clears throat> so now we're going to have a look at the next concept, which is dispersion of white light. Okay, dispersion of white light. Dispersion by a glass prism. That's what we're, that's what we're going to look at. So if you take a glass prism and we've seen how it refracts light. So if you take white light, right, if you take white light, which is nothing but sunlight, okay, usually it, re it is referred to as sunlight, okay, so if you take white light or sunlight and you pass it through a glass prism, you will observe that at the end of the prism, at the other end of the prism, you will see a band of colors, a band of seven colors, right? So this is the band of seven colors. So if you take a glass prism and you pass white light or sunlight through that glass prism, at the other end of the prism, you will see a band of seven colors which can be taken on a screen. Okay. And this band of seven colors, okay, is called the spectrum of white light. Spectrum of white light. So basically, it is the constituent colors, it is the band of the constituent colors of a particular kind of light. So here we're talking about white light. So here the band of seven colors is going to be the spectrum of white light. Okay. So basically this phenomenon, okay, this phenomenon of the splitting of white light into its seven constituent colors when it passes through a glass prism is what we call dispersion of white light. So if you want to define dispersion of white light, it is defined as the splitting of white light, the splitting of white light into its seven constituent colors, seven constituent colors when it passes through when it passes through a glass prism okay so when white light passes through a glass prism it splits into its seven constituent colors and this phenomenon is called dispersion of white light so this is an important definition please remember this even from your, for your exams this is an important definition as well as for spectra okay and this diagram too is important. You should be clear with this diagram as well. So you can see that the white light is coming inside. And finally, it undergoes refraction and dispersion within only. And then ultimately, these rays refract back. These monochromatic beams of light refract. And ultimately, they form a band of seven constituent colors, which can be remembered from below to up. So when you're going from down to up, you can remember it like Vibgyor. Okay, so violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Okay, so from down to up. When we are going from down to up, you can remember it like this. Vibgyor. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Okay, so I hope that's absolutely clear to all of you. When you get this diagram, this order is important. Sometimes people get this order wrong. Please mark the order properly and this shows dispersion by a glass prism. Okay, so this is the diagram for dispersion by glass prism. Now, let us try to understand the causes. Now, causes of dispersion. Why does white light get dispersed when it passes through a glass prism? Right. So, we've already studied when light passes through a glass prism, it undergoes refraction, right? It undergoes bending. Now, the different colors of light have different wavelengths. So different colors, okay, they have different wavelengths. Different wavelengths. And ultimately, they have different speeds. Different speeds. Because you know that v is equal to f lambda so you can see lambda is the wavelength so if wavelength changes then speed will also change okay so there are different colors of light they have different wavelengths 
and ultimately because of that they have different speeds so each color has its own wavelength and different colors get scattered at different degrees at different degrees so basically different colors of light get bended differently so one color will bend more than the other and hence because of this varying degree of bending of colors the different colors separate and when they separate you see independent colors of light forming a band of colors due to the variation in the bending and ultimately you see a band of colors coming out so if you look at the diagram you see that red is at the top and violet is at the bottom so you can infer one thing from this if you are being pushed the most like for example let's take an example if there is a ray of light going right now it is composed of a mix of colors now when it bends that means we assume that some force is being applied upwards let's assume it like that so some force is being applied from upwards that means the one which is heaviest heaviest will be scattered the least that is the one which has the most wavelength will be scattered the least whereas the one which has high lowest wavelength will get scattered most so if a force is being applied and you have low wavelength automatically you will be scattered most and you will have a larger angle of bending and if you have less uh, if you have a high wavelength then your particles are heavier so you will be scattered less you will be bent less bended less so can you apply the same logic here violet is scattering the most it is being pushed down the most it's being bent the most so obviously it has the lowest wavelength and red is being scattered the least because it is still at the top so we say that red has the highest wavelength so in the band of colors in the spectrum your red has the highest wavelength and your violet has the lowest wavelength and if you put it in order as we go through the vib your colors that is v i b g y o r as we go down right as we go down although violet is at the bottom just remember that as we go down the vib your colors you will see that your wavelength increases okay or if you want to put it uh, the other way around you can do that r or you can do it like that v i b g y o and r and if you go up okay if you go up again your wavelength will increase okay this wave, um, lambda represents wavelength okay so wavelength increases or ultimately you can say speed increases right so due to the variation of the wavelengths of different colors there is variation in the scattering and the bending of different colors of light and this results in independent formations of different colors of light which together form a band of colors called the spectrum of white light okay so i hope that's absolutely clear this is the dispersion of white light right so now we come to a few experiments right we have a great scientist isaac newton and isaac newton conducted some experiments to study the scattering okay he was the first to observe this uh, scattering effect that is the dispersion of white light so he conducted some experiments the first experiment was that when a prism when a prism scattered light okay so when a prism has scattered light suppo suppose your light is coming here and ultimately it has got scattered this is your white light so let's use white color to represent it then so suppose 
white light came and ultimately it broke into its seven constituent colors split into its seven constituent colors so whatever let's assume that these are the colors i'm not using different colors okay so these are the different colors in which it scattered ultimately they together again formed the band of colors so when one of these colors was taken randomly okay any one of these colors was taken randomly what did newton do newton blocked the path of the other rays and he took any one color specifically he took any one color specifically now he got that on the screen and he could see that that color could be taken easily right the color could be taken easily now he did not take a screen and he took another prism just like this okay he took another prism okay let me draw it somewhere else so that goes like that so he took another prism just after that spectrum and he took only one light ray only one of the colors passing through it so he took any one of the colors passing through it let's assume this one only so again it passed through it again it emerges parallel and then it again goes like this so when he took the screen again and he got that color or that light onto the screen he observed that that color remained that color so if it is some color x it is going to remain color x it is not going to change into color y so there is no further dispersion of a monochromatic beam of light no further dispersion of a monochromatic beam of light that basically means that if you have a single color light monochromatic means single colored so single colored beam of light will not undergo any further dispersion okay this is what he observed this was the first thing second thing he did he again as i have told you he took a prism and he performed dispersion of white light so your light ray your will come like this and it is going to undergo dispersion and then again they are going to form a spectrum of light now he took an inverted identical prism he took an inverted identical prism and he passed all colors through that prism he passed all the colors through that prism okay so he passed all those colors through that prism all of them together so what did he observe he observed and he put a screen at the end so he observed that together when he put a screen at the end he observed that all the colors came together and again came together and restored the white light so if white light is coming here and then it undergoes dispersion through a glass prism and then again it passes through an inverted identical prism uh, identical inverted prism then again these colors recombine to form white light okay so he observed that spectrum recombines when it passes through an identically inverted or identical inverted prism so when it passes through an identical inverted prism 
the say in that spectrum recombines spectrum of seven colors recombines to form white light okay so this was the second uh, experiment of newton with the dispersion of light and with this he concluded two things one is that there is no further dispersion of a monochromatic beam of, beam of light that is one colored light and second was that the spectrum recombines when it passes through an identically inverted glass prism okay so i hope dispersion of light is absolutely clear to all of you and i wish you all the best for your board examinations in the next video we will be looking into the formation of rainbow uh, yeah and the formation of rainbow thank you very much